Hello everyone. This is Tuesday, October 12th, 2021. And can you believe it for October 12th? We are at 20 degrees Celsius today. What a beautiful day. And what a beautiful location I'm in here. I'm in the south end of Halifax in a little park and it's called it's called Raymond Taval Park. And I see I've got my focus way too close. Bear with me here, we'll try to get it back where it's supposed to be. There we go, there we go. That's better. I'm at Raymond Deval Park, 1004 Barrington Street. So I'm right down at the very end of Barrington Street in the south end. And I'm starting in this little park. It's only a tiny little corner park, but it's a beautiful little spot, nice little spot if you're walking around here and want to sit somewhere and have a coffee and relax. Good little spot, some tables. There's tables in here and uh, things like that. It says it's only open till 10 p.m., but I'm pretty sure you could walk in here anytime. They put these signs up, but I don't know. I don't know if they mean anything or not. Not sure. Anyways, here we are in the south end. We're going to explore some of the neighborhood around here. And see what's going on down here today. I haven't walked up in here for a very long time. And so it's about time I did do some side streets down here in the south end. Did you have a good weekend? Did you enjoy a nice uh, turkey dinner on Thanksgiving? We had a turkey and we got tons of it left in the fridge. So I know what we're having for supper tonight. It's gonna be uh, turkey and warm up leftovers. Well, I gotta say, I really had fun on the weekend. My we finished off my 500 subscriber celebration special video and I need five more subscribers before I can have it released because it's, it's to commemorate my 500 subscribers. I'm halfway to 1,000 now. Took me just a little over a year. Not bad, I guess. So, I can let you in on a little bit what it's about, and then you're going to love to see it. I can promise you. You're going to probably watch it over and over because it's a little different than the average videos I made or I'm making today. We set our living room up like a, a music room, and my wife was playing her keyboard, and I was playing my guitar like I promised I was going to do and well I guess the whole video it only went about four minutes but it's four great minutes four great minutes you're gonna love it so we got over a hundred photographs of Halifax it's not a moving video but it does move it shows us moving but the pictures are all photographs so we had a, like a, a collage of photographs and my son put them up and he did a fantastic job. I got a noisy uh, vehicle coming up here. So I wasn't gonna try to talk over the top of that or I'd be yelling, so. Anyway, my, yeah, my son did the technical work on that, put all these pictures together, and we played the background music for this video. My wife was playing keyboard and she had it on organ, which is where I like it when I'm playing. I like that organ sound. And I was playing my Fender Telecaster in my 
Marshall DSL 40C. If you know anything about musical gear, you know what that is. It's a 40 watt tube amp with a really good tone. You'll hear it when you see the video, you'll hear it. Listen for the tone on that guitar, it's amazing. When I heard that back last night through my son's monitor speakers that he has set up in his bedroom, I was like in awe at the tone of that guitar. I said, I got lucky when I got that guitar. I got one with a good tone in it, good pickups on it, nice and sharp and bright and good tone. So that was, it was pretty amazing. I can't say any more about that now because that's about all I can tell you. You'll have to see it. But you'll want to watch it over and over. I know I'm going to probably watch it another 10 times yet. And we just did a 12 bar blues on there jamming and I, and you know, like every guitar player, they make up their own licks. You copy a few here and there, and then you try to make up a bunch that you think sounds good. So I put a few of those combinations in my video. I'm hoping everybody's gonna like it. I think they will. So anyways, enough about that. I will be sure to let you folks know when I get, or you can keep checking for my 500 subscriber video. And that's what it's called, 500 subscriber video. This is the beautiful street I'm on here in the south end. And I'm not sure after I came around the turn off of off of Gottingen, I was all Gottingen, but I was talking to a guy and he mentioned Gottingen, so sorry, ignore that. When I came around the turn from Barrington Street, um, it's, if it changed streets, I think it did, it changed to something else. When I come to the sign up here, I'll let you know what this is that I'm walking on. Yeah, I stopped by Tim Hortons and I was talking to a guy, he was telling me, uh, story about something that happened up there on Gottingen. So I guess that was in my head. I meant to say Barrington, but I said Gottingen. Okay, I'm on English. English Street. Luck, no, and English. There you go. Anybody knows the South End would know where that is. A beautiful residential street with leaves hanging out over. And the leaves are falling pretty good today. And there's a bit on the sidewalk, but there's still more on the trees than there are on the sidewalk. So that's that's a good thing. That's a that's a positive when we got we got uh, more on the trees than we do on the sidewalk. That's always a good sign. We might have a long fall yet. You never know. I'm hoping. I hope it stays warm. I can't believe it. 20 degrees out today. This is amazing weather for mid-October, almost mid-October, pretty much. Anyways, it's for the middle of October, this is like fantastic, fantastic weather. Had a really good weekend on Sunday we went out to a restaurant for for Thanksgiving to celebrate Thanksgiving with our church and it was uh, there not everybody went of course not everybody's interested in that but we went to a Swiss chalet and had a, a good meal there and then uh, there's probably about 30 of us there maybe and then we came home from there and Sunday or Monday rather Monday my wife and I prepared a turkey dinner at, at our house and that was really good 
So I'm like really stuffed from this weekend. So I'm not eating too much today. I gotta gotta walk it off. I see a house used to be here that's tore down now. They're gonna build something. No doubt it'll be a small apartment building likely. This is beautiful here. The streets are so. All the, all the residential streets in Halifax, or most of them, have trees along the sidewalk, hanging it over so they can get some shade in the summer. Many of the streets are like that. So I'm going to walk up English for a ways, and then we'll, we'll take a, a detour. Take a, take a side street and see what's all up in this neighborhood because I haven't really walked it before. I don't think ever. I don't think I ever walked this far up on English, ever, since I've been living in Halifax. So this is kind of interesting. We're going to see what's up here. I'm pretty sure by the looks of the young people going by that there's part of the university up here. I know the other streets takes you up there. So I would imagine that this one goes to the university as well. I am at the corner of Tower and Inglis, heading west. There's no button there, so I guess it's going to change. There we go. Thank you. Going up. I'm going to take a right there here on Tower Road. I walk over about. So we came up English from Barrington from the little park. Now we're going north on Tower Road. Then we'll go up here a ways, then we'll probably go back down again. And then later we'll, we'll maybe do another block or two. I just want to kind of cover this neighborhood because I haven't really done it yet walk certain streets through here, but I never really dived into the neighborhood to see what all in this little neighborhood. But this will be the first time for that. I hope wherever you are, you're having a nice day like this because 20 degrees in mid-October is like fantastic. We're just waiting for the other shoe to drop there when the it's, it's frost all over everything. It's kind of nippy on the fingers. And, but I can wait for that. I'm in no hurry. I remember last winter out here doing videos. And it wasn't always that enjoyable. I like going and doing the videos. But sometimes you're, my fingers would be tingling, even with gloves on. My fingers would be tingling in there. And... I guess just hanging on to the grip of the gimbal, it, 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 uh, it's enough to, you know, stop your circulation a little bit and, you, and your fingers get colder. So not looking forward to that part of it, but oh well, on the upside I can get some snowy videos, they're always good. Nighttime snow videos are really good. And when the snow is piled up along the side of the street, 
that always makes for a nice nighttime walk. So I'm in a pretty good residential area here right now. These apartments all look really nice. Nice buildings, well maintained. All tower apartments. Rent, oh, it's beautiful. They got a little uh, roof out over here and some seats you can sit down if you're sitting outside. Good way to get in over, know your neighbors. Go get a coffee and come and sit down on the bench outside the building and then everybody comes in or out, we'll see you and you can say hello and get to know your neighbors that way. Very good way to do that. I'm just looking at the architecture of some of these buildings over here. They've been here a very long time because I know that because the south end of Halifax is the oldest part of the city. This is the earliest settlers that came to Halifax were in the south end. So this is the oldest part of the city, although there are new buildings now, such as that one over there. There's new buildings, so they're not all old anymore, but there are still a lot of old buildings that's been here for a very long time. I'm not going to go all the way over to Spring Garden Road because I want to cover the, the residential area down here in this little block. That's what we're going to do today. The neighborhood surrounding Deval Park and the, and the streets branching out from there and just kind of walk around this neighborhood and get a feel for what it's like. There's one, one, two, two tower. So we're still on Tower Road. No shortage of apartment buildings up here. We'll go to the next street and then probably take a, a eastward direction and go back down and then come across another street farther down. That's the only way you get to see all these buildings. You have to just walk down the residential streets and see what's here. Because you, you'll never know as long as you just go down Barrington and up uh, Spring Garden Road or South Street. you got to walk on the little small streets to really see a whole neighborhood. All oh, these places are just beautiful with all these trees. And sure would be a nice place to live, wouldn't it? I live over in Dartmouth. As I've mentioned before, we got that online when we left Toronto. And it's okay. There's not there's not a dump. But it's not real new, but it's, it's all right. It's one of those things, it's okay. I would like something a little nicer, but it's okay. Wow, I'm already up to 18 minutes. Don't feel that like that. Feels more like 10 minutes, but I'm up at 18, believe it or not. The, the video we just made this put together this weekend. It's only four four minutes long or somewhere around there, four or five minutes in length. But there's a lot crowded into it. I got over a hundred photographs, maybe 120, I'm not sure. Something like that. Photographs in that picture. All different shots of Halifax. And I got my Fantastic guitar playing in the background. I'm kidding now. But I have been working on the hot licks. And so I had to show off a little bit and put them in there. Some of them. Well, I guess I'll go. 
I, he's waiting for me, so might as well go. All right, we are walking down. If I was gonna guess, I'd say it's South Street, but I'm not sure. We'll see when I get to the intersection down here, if this is, in fact, South Street. Lots of shade in Halifax. First thing you'll notice when you come here is the amount of trees we have. There's trees everywhere. We got more than our share of trees in Halifax. They're great. They're great in the summer because they provide shade. And a lot of them have leaves on them so they're bare in the winter. Just like sticks sticking out there, but yes, I am on South Street. You can see right there's the sign, South Street. So we're just going to wait here until the light changes. Yes, I'm in, I'm in uh, university territory. This is all, all this area is built around universities. We got three universities here in Halifax and, and a lot of these buildings are designed to uh, house students. So there's, you'll, see, you'll meet a lot of university students walking on the sidewalk in these areas down here. I think I showed that before, but I will again. That right there is our tallest building to date in Halifax. And I told somebody once it was 32 floors, but it is 33. So I've read since that it's 33 stories. That's our tallest building so far. But I don't think for long, the way the buildings are going up around here, we'll probably see that again or maybe more. Want to take a look at it again? It's pretty tall for Halifax. The first time I saw Halifax, I don't think there was any tall buildings here. They're all like six stories, seven, five. But now it's very common to see tall buildings in Halifax. When we lived in Toronto, we lived on the ninth floor of a 12-story building. That was nice. Even nine stories is pretty good view. Except we were in North York and all we could see when we looked out our window was more apartment buildings. So it wasn't that great a view, even though we had some height. I gotta cross the street because it looks like this sidewalk is 
off limits. As I can, I will. Oops, I gotta hurry, I got a car coming. There we go. Some construction going on over there. So I gotta take this side for now. It doesn't matter to me, I'm just out walking. I can walk this side or that side. It's all the same thing. That's the good thing about being retired. I'm not so much a prisoner of time. A lot of times, time don't mean too much to me. Because I have nowhere to be a lot of the time. So today's Tuesday. I, I think I'll come out tomorrow and do something to try to keep up with my videos because you never know, it could get a real wet day and then it would be hard to do anything. So, so I'll probably try to get back out tomorrow. I love doing these walks because not only is it making videos, but it's keeping me in shape. I'm getting lots of walking in. I probably wouldn't walk this much if I wasn't doing the videos. I'd walk, but probably not as much as I am now. I am at Queen Street. Let's see. If I go that way, it goes right up past the public gardens and all that. So I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna continue on down South Street. Maybe I'll cross the street. A good idea. Okay. So that's the way I came from down there. And now we're gonna take South Street down another block maybe. We'll see. So we're at Queen and South. Walking east. Downtown would be like that way, right there. This is, I could pretty much call this downtown, but if you're talking about the heart of downtown, it'd be more over a little bit like that. I call the waterfront downtown, Barrington Street, and, and Hollis, and all those streets down there, and, and up as far as Scotia Square, maybe a little more downtown. Everybody might have a different interpretation of where downtown is. But we are now is still in the South End. South End is a beautiful part of the city. The people that live here, we, we talked about this once on one of my videos, which is better, the North End or South End? Well, I've come to the conclusion there's, there's no better, just a matter of what you like. South End is a little more peaceful and quiet. North End is quite a bit busier because there's more stores up there and more people moving around. Now the south end is busy when the university is getting out for the day. A lot of people are driving home. That, that They don't live in the south end, they live in Halifax and they're driving home so the rush hour is quite busy. But the rest of the time, pretty calm. The south end. Yeah, I like either one. 
I think I said I preferred the north end, but this is nice down here too. There's a lot of beautiful streets to live on, and you know, it's all a matter of what you like. But they do have a lot of an abundance of trees down here. Just checking my video, see how far along I am. Well, I'm 30 minutes right now. And we are heading straight for the Weston Hotel, and that means we're heading towards Peace and Friendship Park, if we stay on the street. Look at that building right there, isn't that nice? Well maintained. I love old buildings as long as they're looked after properly and maintained well. Don't love dilapidated buildings that, that are neglected. Don't really care to live in one of those, but who would, right? Now you can get on the bus right here on South Street. And it can go all the way. You don't have to walk up anywhere. You can get on a bus right here. It'll take you right up to Roby and Young area. You don't have to change bus or anything. And you can get on down there and come right downtown. Drop you off on South Street or Roby or depending on what bus you take. But very, very convenient because if you're getting on the bus here, you're either going up South Street or up around Roby or you could be taking it all the way over. I do that sometimes. I go up to Young and Roby area and I get on one bus and bring me right down here wherever I want to be. Make sure there's nobody walking right behind me there. Sometimes good to turn around because I don't hear as good as I did when I was 20, 30. All the years of loud music have taken their toll, I guess. And they say once you damage your ears, there's no getting it back. You can get a hearing aid or something, which I don't use yet, but one day maybe. I'm finding out that dentures aren't all I thought they were going to be. I was so excited when I got my dentures. I thought that was, that was amazing because I was going to be able to eat everything that I wasn't able to eat before. But how wrong I was. I could eat more before I got my dentures than I can now. It's not great. Not really great at all for me. Some people do well with them. I don't. So that's, that's uh, it for me. They, they look good in there. I put them in when I go out around walking and things. But for eating, when I'm home, I don't wear them when I'm, when I'm going to eat because they won't stay in place. And I've tried everything. I've tried the different types of things that are supposed to hold your teeth in place and supposed to last all day. And they last until I get halfway through my meal and then they're falling out. So I, I've pretty well given up on that. But I can wear them out around all day as long as I don't eat anything. Tell you one thing, it'll keep you thin. 
because when I go out around, I don't, I don't usually eat that much when I eat out. I do, I did go out on Thanksgiving on Sunday for a dinner, but I was careful what I bought, make sure it was something that was soft and easy to, I didn't have to bite too hard in it. And I got through it. But most of the time I eat home and then the only thing I have is coffee or maybe a, a, a donut when I go out until I get home again. So if I'm out all day, I'm living on what I had for breakfast until I get home. Well, there's the Western Nova Scotian. There's Via Rail. I understand they got trains going to Montreal from here now and Cape Breton. So that's exciting. And the bus station is right next door to the Via Rail. And this is the real Peace and Friendship Park. Nice little park in the south end here. I come here quite often. Fairly often I go to Tim Hortons, get a coffee, come and sit down over here and just enjoy the scenery. There's the sign. It's only been up a few months. Peace and Friendship Park. One day I'll get somebody to help me pronounce that in the Mi'kmaq language. Be nice to be able to do that. If I ever, anybody ever sees me on the street and you speak Mi'kmaq, stop and teach me how to say that in, in uh, the language, okay? <coughs> that would be greatly appreciated. Well, let's see, let's go up through here. I'll probably end this video somewhere over here because I don't want to bore you right to death. And it is a nice little walk through the south end there. We just covered a small bit of it today. I'll probably do another one another day down here. We'll take a little bit different route. So we started down by the Trofal Park. I think that was the name of it, the little tiny corner park. And we walked up Inglis, took a side street over, came down South Street, and then walked back Barrington. So next time, we'll definitely do something different. There's that tall building in the background that we walked by. Great little park. A lot of parents bring their kids over here to play on this stuff in the summer, in the nice days like this. And they hang out here. No doubt they probably know each other, all, everybody that brings kids here. They probably, probably get to know the other ladies and have a good time here. So I'm gonna stop at this bench to pack up my gear and we'll just stop right here. And a leaf just fell on my head, look at that. So if you enjoyed this video, push that like button, that'd be nice. And we'll know if you like walking around the south end. The leaves are falling like crazy, look at them. Look at them, they're just, they're coming down like rain today. It's beautiful to see them falling. The trees aren't so beautiful after they're all off, but Anyways, push that like button if you like this little walk around. And, and uh, if you're not yet a subscriber, I got to tell you, I only got five more subscriptions to get, and I can show you my 500 subscriber celebration video. Okay? I can't show it until I hit 500 because it's celebrating 500. I made it yesterday. Well, I've been working on it for some time. I, I had over 100, maybe 120, 130 photographs in that, in that bunch of pictures that's in that video. So anyways, if you want to get that 
video up to see because I know you'll really enjoy it. You'll enjoy that beautiful music in the background. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if we can just get five subscribers, I'll be able to play that video on YouTube. All right? So on that note, you all have a wonderful day. This being Tuesday. Have a great day. You only got three more days left and uh, the weekend will be here again. So enjoy it. Talk to you all later. Bye for now.